Hey everyone, this is part two of a series where I intend to show people the steps I took for updating uh, PHP on our WordPress installation. Uh, if you're here just to learn how to upgrade from Debian 8 to Debian 9, that's great too. This is just a part of the process I needed to go through in order to update PHP on WordPress. The idea here is um, you know, PHP 5 uh, is something that's very easy to install on Debian 8, uh, but it has become outdated and we need to update to PHP 7. Uh, and at this point, 7.3 is the most modern version. So uh, this is why we need to go through the steps of updating our servers. Not only it, will it allow us to um, install the most current version of PHP, but it also gives us more security because we have a more up-to-date server. So we'll start here in a terminal. Uh, I'm using PuTTY to SSH into my sandbox environment. So you'll see here that uh, my username jkellogg at 10.3. That's, um, that's the IP address for my sandbox environment um, using VirtualBox. Uh, so it's always a good idea to make sure you actually need to do an update. So a good command for that would be um, lsb underscore release dash a and so here we see that I am currently running Debian 8.11 uh, codename Jesse. So we'll definitely need an update and uh, we will begin by kind of doing a little bit of house cleaning. So the first command that we should run is sudo aptitude search and in quotation marks uh, in the tilde lowercase o and so what that did was uh, removed all outdated third-party software and repositories that currently exist on the uh, machine. Um, I don't really have any of those. This is a very uh, basic installation, so um, I kind of keep things simple. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is make sure everything is up to date. So I will do the uh, sudo apt get update. And now that the update is done we want to upgrade everything that can be upgraded so we will run the sudo app get upgrade and yes okay so after a few minutes um, the upgrade will have finished and I'm just gonna clear my screen right now so we have a clean slate to build off of um, and the last thing we want to do uh, in terms of cleanup is to run the sudo um, apt get, oops, apt get, oh, again, apt get um, dist upgrade. Okay, so now that we've done that, we want to upgrade uh, from Debian Jesse to Debian Stretch. What we'll need to do is uh, navigate to the etc uh, slash apt directory and if I run my list command here you'll see that we have something called sources list uh, we want to edit this file and we can do that with the sudo uh, sources dot list whoops sorry about that sudo nano sources list okay and so this is pretty easy. We use the um, Oregon State University Open Source Labs mirror. Uh, so yours might look a little different here, but the update will, will be very similar. Um, it's really just a matter of finding every instance of Jesse, deleting it, and then replacing it with stretch. Pretty simple. And I'll just go through and do that. Okay, so now that I've gone through and replaced the word Jesse with stretch, um, and it, that will only happen in the uh, red text that you see on the screen, so um, elsewhere you don't have to worry about that. And what I'm going to do is just Control X to leave, and it's going to ask me to save changes, so I'll say yes. 
um, and I do want to have the file name to remain sources.list. Uh, it might be a good idea to do a backup of this before you start. I've just never really had many problems with this, so I didn't bother with a backup. Uh, I'll hit enter, and at this point I can run the sudo app get update command again. And so this will update our repository uh, for all of the packages related to Stretch um, rather than um, Jesse. And to complete this, what we need to do is uh, sudo app get upgrade. So we're running this command again. And this might take a little while. So I will pause the video and come back. So after a minute or so, uh, you'll be brought to a place where you need to actually interact. And so what what's happening here is we're getting uh, information about uh, updates to different packages. Um, and for the most part, I've not ever needed to use this. Uh, so you can just use the arrow key to keep going down. Uh, or you could just uh, type Q to quit and it will continue with the upgrade. So a minute or two later we're brought to this screen that's telling us that uh, the, the Grub bootloader was previously installed to a disk that is no longer present. And so what they're doing is they're recommending that if we're not sure what drive is designated as a boot drive um, by the BIOS, um, it's a good idea to install them on all of them. So what I'm going to do is take their advice because I'm not completely sure and uh, to do that you'll see that there's a little red cursor here if I just hit the space okay so uh, everything is finished for the upgrade uh, just the general upgrade so now everything is in place uh, to be upgraded to uh, stretch from Jesse um, and I'll just go ahead and clear this so that we can see things and uh, the final command here that we want to run is sudo app get dist dash upgrade and so this this should complete the upgrade process from Debian 8 to Debian 9 and throw in my password and yes and after a little bit we'll get um, this screen again that um, tells us about package upgrades and uh, it's just a matter of, of scrolling through those. I think you can just hit Q to continue. Yep, you can. So if you don't want to scroll through all of that, you can just hit Q to continue. If you're interested in seeing, you know, what changes are being made, then um, it's a good idea to, to read through that. Okay, so here we're getting a message letting us know that there are certain libraries uh, that will require uh, restarts and this is kind of a big deal if you're in production so um, it will cause some interruptions to service um, in this case I don't need to know what services are being restarted as packages are upgraded so I'm just gonna let the system know um, I can toggle between yes and no using the arrow keys I'm just gonna let the uh, system know that they can restart services during the package upgrades without asking so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter Okay, so after a while, with my installation, I have PHP my admin, um, and I actually only keep this on our sandbox environment. Um, I'm really not interested in keeping it, so for the most part, I don't really care what's here. Uh, I'll just go ahead and hit yes. Um, I suspect that might cause some problems, and yes, it does. Um, most it, because I only use this in the test environment. I'm just not going to worry about it now. Um, it can be gotten rid of. I can reinstall PHP my admin if I need it. Uh, but for mo for the most part, the things that you can do with PHP my admin, I prefer to do on the command line. So I'm just going to say ignore. Okay, so after um, everything has been done, I believe what we can do is um, what we'll need to do is reboot the server so I'm just gonna clear things out and uh, this will cause my shell to shut down but um, that's what we need to do so I'll run this command and then I will pause the video and when everything has been rebooted um, I will resume from there uh, so first thing we want to do is sudo uh, what is it reboot now 
Okay, so uh, we've we've been closed from the network. Uh, things are rebooting now. I will I will pause and come back when we are done rebooting. Okay, so my system has finished rebooting, and I um, have opened up a new shell uh, into my server. And what we'll do at this point is just to make sure Debian was actually updated. So we'll use the LSB uh, underscore release dash a command and make sure that happened. Uh, so you can see that we did indeed successfully update from Debian 8 to Debian 9. Uh, I think the next thing we want to do is make sure that our WordPress site is actually still working. So um, I will go back to this and um, let's see if we go to the home page here just and yes everything seems to be good here I am going to clear my browsing data just to make sure um, I haven't cached anything from the old site and run that again and there we go um, so it's probably also a good idea to check the admin module and make sure we're good there and we are so as you can see we still have the PHP update required um, by jumping from Debian 8 to Debian 9 we did not uh, install a new version of PHP uh, I believe Debian 9 only allows for PHP 5 uh, so in the next video what we'll do is we will upgrade from Debian 9 to Debian 10 uh, and then from there we can upgrade uh, PHP and get rid of this little notification here. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it insightful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, and in the meantime, uh, we will see you in the next video.